The alpha rhythm in a typically normal, awake, with eyes closed EEG that is prominently observed over the posterior head regions is often referred to as the post-dominant rhythm, or PDR. It typically lies within the 8 to 13 hertz bandwidth, which classifies it within the alpha frequency range. A key characteristic of this rhythm is its attenuation with eyes opening, which you see here, where the normal 10 hertz alpha rhythm is blocked by eye opening and reappears upon eye closure. Notice the briefly faster frequency immediately following eye closure, often termed the alpha squeak. According to a study published in the Clinical Neurophysiology Journal, the alpha rhythm can emerge as early as three years of age, typically starting at eight hertz. This rhythm remains remarkably stable, maintaining a frequency between eight and 12 hertz even as we age into our later years. However, it's interesting to note that approximately 25% of normal adults may exhibit an alpha rhythm that is poorly visualized on the EEG, and in less than 10%, the rhythm's voltage may fall below 15 microvolts. The alpha rhythm is predominantly observed in the occipital regions and may shift anteriorly as the individual becomes drowsy. It's important to recognize that any significant voltage asymmetry, particularly if greater than 50%, should be regarded as abnormal, especially when the left hemisphere shows higher voltages than the right. Such asymmetries could be indicative of underlying pathologies. Remember this because we're going to explore alpha asymmetries in an upcoming video. But moving on. In relaxed wakefulness, the alpha rhythm is most prominent displaying a side-to-side -side difference of less than one hertz. A phenomenon known as Bankod's phenomenon is observed when there is unilateral failure to attenuate with eye opening, suggesting an ipsilateral or same-sided abnormality. Variants of the alpha rhythm include forms that are either half the typical frequency deemed slow alpha or double the typical frequency deemed, you guessed it, fast alpha. Yet they share similar distribution and reactivity patterns. Both slow and fast alpha are considered normal. Occasionally, the alpha rhythm may display a notched appearance. Another variation, known as paradoxical alpha, occurs when alerting stimuli result in the appearance of the alpha rhythm, whereas drowsiness does not. This is an unusual pattern that can provide additional insights into the individual's state of brain activity. Okay, to wrap up, here are the key points to remember about the alpha rhythm. Frequency range, 8 to 13 hertz, stable throughout life. Attenuation, blocks with eye opening, but reappears with eye closure. Development, appears by age three and remains stable. Distribution, predominantly in occipital regions, shifts anteriorly during drowsiness. Voltage asymmetry, greater than 50% asymmetry, particularly if the left is greater than the right, is considered abnormal. Alpha variants, slow alpha, fast alpha, and notched alpha. And lastly, alpha squeak, transient increase in frequency immediately after eye closure. And that's it, everyone. Hey, if you want longer form educational content, we are excited to announce that we have launched a podcast series going over all things neurology and neurodiagnostics. We will have physicians, authors, technologists, and the like talking with me about our fascinating specialty. So check out the Corticare podcast by simply searching for it in the YouTube search bar or anywhere you get your podcasts. Thanks, and I'll see you next Tuesday.